grandfather. Stop dreaming, Chiskit. You know you cannot go to school. Mamele, please, pleaded Chiskit softly with tears in her eyes as her grandfather walked away angrily. Mamele does not understand how I feel, said Chiskit. I too want to learn to read and do maths. Do you understand? I do, said Abdul. Chiskit, I will see you later. I must go now. Jale. The next day, Abdul went straight to the headmaster's room after assembly. Jale, Azangle, he said. I want to talk to you about a girl from our village who does not go to school. She is Topdan's sister, Chiskit. Oh yes, replied the headmaster. I know her. She is unable to walk, isn't it? Yes, as Angli, she uses a wheelchair to move around but cannot reach school as the path from her home is too rough and uneven. I was wondering if we could all get together and level the path and build a small bridge across the stream. That's very thoughtful of you, Abdul, said the headmaster as he patted him on the back. What made you think of Chiskit and her problems? As Angle, last week we read about the fundamental rights of citizens in our civics class. All children have a right to education. That includes Chiskit as well, doesn't it? Yes, you are right, Abdul. Let me discuss this with the other teachers, replied the headmaster.